Hi there, I am live and tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. my time, which is 12 UK time, Indicator's website opens up for the big, big sale. So if you were to go on the, on the site right now, at this very precise exact moment, you'd see the regular prices. Now, if it is the way that it was in the previous year, <clears throat> this is going to be a pretty epic sale. If you have not do dove into what is called the indicator box set yet, uh, which uh, many of us collectors know as being very, very glorious things, uh, then uh, now, now is the time to do that. I have my trusty computer with me and uh, we are going to look through the entire indicator website. I've actually even decided already uh, how I'm going to focus a lot of my October month. As you guys know, I usually do a, uh, a bit of research, like a lot before that. <clears throat> Why do I do this research? Why do I go on and do all this stuff? So you don't have to. And so when we're when you're ready for the sale, <clears throat> you're going to be ready just to dive right in. And maybe you'll have some stuff already set up. Maybe you're right there right now and you got like, hey, Mug, how's it going? <clears throat> are the hammer boxes all region? As a matter of fact, Mug, yes, they are. Uh, hey, George. The hammer boxes, this is the first box right here. I put it over here to do my uh, the snapshot at the beginning of the video. So as you can see right there, the hammer boxes are all region. The only one that I can think of that doesn't have all all region and it was pointed out in my last video by a, by a viewer was that one of the William Castle sets has a movie on that that is all region and uh, I, if I was a guess I'd probably say it's probably something like a straight jacket that's probably what's not all region but the hammer box sets you are good to go uh, <clears throat> and the good thing about them is that the hammer ones well be on sale I have them up here now just to let you know more than likely you're not going to be able to grab a Norman J. Warren box set for you know at a sale price, and you're not going to be able, uh, be able to grab the Marlena Dietrich Joseph von Sternberg box set as well. Hey Jason, we're we're going we're diving. I got my computer here tonight. Now I'm diving right into the indicator thing because tomorrow morning the indicator sets uh, indicator sale starts, and they only do one sale a year. Unlike most other companies, this is it. Like if you miss out on this one sale, you got to wait till the next year. Uh, so uh, if you've or if you're up to date on your indicator stuff, then you're going to be pretty good and that. But if you, uh, yes, I would, well, 110% mugs say that, say that all three hammer sets will be within the sale. And I will tell you why right now, because more than likely they're going to go with all the stuff that was released within, tw you know, 2018 and before that. Um, you may get some early 2019 stuff, but, but the last two boxes came out in the last month or so you're probably not going to see that obviously you you're probably not going to see like dragon wick or a mac the conception there as well if they came out uh, like early in the year i'll see when that one came out first let's find out so i want to start i'm going to start in like uh, basically in 2018 uh for uh, for this because i really think that's what we're going to be looking at for uh for this stuff and uh that may seem like uh like you're missing out on a lot but it's not there's actually a lot of stuff here that they put out within that uh, within that time period that I know a lot of people are uh, are going to want. So what I'm going to do because I don't know exactly when everything came out as I'm going to start, I'll just mention the box sets first. As you guys know, if you watched my video that I did on this earlier, then you've seen all the box sets because I am a big vi fan of Indicator and I have actually bought all their box sets except for the last two. So I was hoping originally. Uh, well, I was hoping it wasn't because cash is not exactly the best right now, but uh, I was kind of like, said, if the new, if the Norman J. Warren or the, or, or the uh, Marlene Dietrich one, I'll grab those two because those are the only two I don't have. I will 110% say, look at these indicator sets. Even if you've gotten a couple of these of these movies previously, maybe got a Mill, a Mill Creek edition or something, <clears throat> and you think that's perfectly fine, Look exactly at the features that are going to be in on, into these sets, and if that's something that matters to you, if uh, if there's certain things that 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 you want that you know you want, if you want to like dive deeper into some of these films, um, this is going to be the cheapest way that you're going to be able to do it, like any time of the year. So I think we'll start up with. All right.
different. So as you know, some of them have already gone out of print. And what happens then is you put in like a regular edition of that. Oh, Dragon can definitely be there. <clears throat> so just give you an idea of like the stuff that vinegar, that vinegar, that indicator does. Um, the ones that are out of print right now, like blue collar is unfortunately out of print at the moment. I got to open up this here because I do not want to miss your comments. Uh, and you know, you guys know me. I'm, I'll look up and I'll see like a comment fading off the screen and I'll be like, no. So who here is like collected some indicator before? Who has some like some indicator in their collection or who is going for the first time? Any idea what the pricing will be? Uh, if anything like last time, Jason, you're looking at probably about, I guess, nine or 10 pounds or maybe a little bit less. Usually around 50% off, usually for the, for the single. So maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, probably around 50% off or so for the box sets. It could be anywhere between like 24 to 27 pounds for a box set as opposed to you know, like to the 50 pound box sets that you see online. And of course, once they go to print or what they get, you see them go low in print. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of places, you know, jack up the prices on some of this stuff. Obviously the box set that is out of print right now is the Sinbad box set. Uh, they have released those like as like singular releases. George, this is the time. Uh, <clears throat> if you got the bones on you, man, this is the time to do it uh, because they, they put out some really awesome stuff. So let's go and dive right into the box sets. We'll start right there and we'll go with, uh, we'll go from there. So obviously the Sinbad trilogy, that one is out of print. The, the good thing about Indicator is they, will, they, have a, they have like a newsletter. They're, they're really active on their Facebook page. They will let you know when something is getting low in stock. Always keep an eye on their Facebook, look, eye on the Facebook page uh, so that you'll know, especially if there's a movie that you want to get and, and you don't want to miss out on that sweet, sweet booklet or uh, you, want, you, want to be, you want to have all those box sets lined up in a row behind you like, like I do right there except for this one, which is right on me right now. <clears throat> then, uh, here we go. Hey Ryan, we're gonna look into, ah, oh, cat hair. We're gonna, we're gonna look into the indicator box sets and we're gonna, gonna go into their regular stuff. So first off, there are two magnificent box sets uh, and I'm sure these will be on sale. Uh, well, I know these are, will be on sale. And that is the Wonderful Worlds of Ray Harryhausen. Now, if you're a fan of Harryhausen, you're definitely gonna wanna like dive into these. Uh, they have they each have three films on them. They got a big book. Uh, it's it's a nice as you can see with these with their box sets. I'm just gonna whip this out right now. Yeah, fancy. It's a hard case, so this thing not easy to to crumple up. It's not like one of those, one of those soft like cheapy box sets that you see. Now they they put like really really good work into them, and as you can see, they're uh, this is one of the first hammer set, for instance, and you can see the always have like reversible artwork um, in all the hammer sets because you want to get the hammer sets where they're sets. You don't want to get them where they're movies on their own because you miss out on these sweet, 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 sweet booklets, which are incredibly well done. Uh, lots of writing, lots of uh, lots of cool stuff in here. I really love these booklets, actually. Um, I always kind of get like the one I wish Arrow would like take take kind of a note from uh, should collect the box sets first, the start of the collection. I like, <clears throat> depends George, honestly, on what you're into. <clears throat> I'm gonna mention what the box sets are and you tell me if these are the type that you like, because that's gonna make the difference. If you like the box sets, if, if you like the movies, then definitely because it's gonna be the better deal. Uh, you know, you can pick up like three or four movies here or there, like singles along with it. But uh, I'd say if you're starting, if you're diving into an indicator for the very first time, or if you don't have any other box sets, you're not gonna get them any cheaper than this unless for some, somehow you there's an indicator truck going by your house. And all of a sudden there's just, I don't know, there's somebody swerves in front and the truck kind of kind of tries to stop, but it happens to have a loose lock and that lock busts open and, and a big gust of wind comes and opens up that truck. And all of a sudden the indicator box sets, they fly out and, and they come into your lap. So after that's free, then then it's cheaper. Then 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 you're good. But no, uh, these are this is probably about as cheap as you're going to get free in the box sets. These are usually around half off, uh, around 24 to 27 pounds, as opposed to paying like 42 or 49 or 50 pounds. Or check the Amazon prices too. They they get high once they go to print. 
All right, so there's Ray Harry, Wonderful Worlds of Ray Harryism, Volume 1. On that one, we got it. Um, glasses. It came from beneath the sea, 20 million miles to Earth, and the Three Worlds of Gulliver. I, I picked up that box set. I really wanted the Three Worlds of Gulliver. Not, it's not my favorite Harry Hesman film, but I, uh, I wanted all these. But I did not have that film anywhere in any of my collections. I had, you know, I've got a few Harry Hesman box sets out there. Next up is the one that everybody kind of wants when it comes to the Harry Hesman sets. And this is Volume 2. Now, Volume 2, I think, for me personally, I'll be honest, I think it's it's the better of the two just because I like the films. Just just a bit more, just a smidgen more. And that's because, well, you get Jason and the Argonauts, which is one of my favorite all-time Harry Hesman films. And if you're a fan of that, you did, it is a wonderful-looking box set. Uh, Jason and the Argonauts looks fantastic. And you get, like, a really cool booklet. Uh, and by booklet, I mean, like, around 60 or 80 pages. <clears throat> and it looks gorgeous. Uh, you get to see Harry Hosen with the uh, with those like skeletons with the with the swords the sabers it's really cool uh, and that's it we got Mysterious Island Jason and the Argonauts and the First Men and the Moon so again three really really good films there with that you got your with those two sets you got your uh, your Ray Harry Hosen collection right there then you just got to find a way to get those Sinbad movies you have to buy the singular ones down the road because they're coming out like on their own unless you can find a way to get the Sinbad box set that's not going to cost you a fortune and I'm going to be honest with you that Sinbad box set's out of print and nowadays it it does kind of kind of cost fortune there we go next up is Hammer Volume 1 and Fear Warning and one thing to let you know is that all these box sets are numbered so anytime that you get a box set uh, it's going to have one of these things on them right here they kind of come off uh, and it'll tell you what movies are on there and so this is a Hammer Volume 1 one as Maniac, The Gorgon, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, and Fanatic, some of my favorites. And I was it's really nice to see like they have two kind of like you know, two of the monster ones and two of the psychological thriller ones. So you're getting a good like balance of hammer. You're not like it's not all like mummy or monster. Uh, and it's not even like the Dracula Frankenstein ones. It's getting, you know, because there's so many sets of those out there. Uh, like how many times have you seen those? Just need the William Castle sets. Those are gonna be awesome, man. I, I got the William Castle sets. I, I strongly recommend them. Volume one has that 82 minute long documentary Wim Castle, Spine Tangler. I've watched that one so many times and it is really, really good. You can see it behind me, right, right over there. So every one of these will be numbered. And this one here is, this is a later number. You see 5,138 of 6,000. The uh, highest like number on any of their sets so far has been the, the Demon set, which ran at 10, Thousand. That's how popular it was, and you know what? It's still sold out. And the regular edition of the Night of the Demon one is selling extremely well as well. So that Night of the Demon one, I do recommend it. Even if you don't, get, if even if now you can't get the limited edition one, you can still pick up the regular edition. And there's four glorious versions of the film, and there are some amazing special features on there as well. So at, when you get one of these sets, uh, once you slip off this little ring right here. You'll get the artwork unadulterated, so there's nothing, there's no like logo or there's no nothing kind of like kind of like stopping like the artwork uh, from just, just looking really snazzy. So you can always take these off if you want to and kind of fold them up and put them somewhere really, really safe because it does have your limited edition number if you don't want to keep them on there and you want to show your box sets off like that. Each one of your box sets is going to have, it's going to be numbered, all your films are numbered from, so you, so you see, it's from 54, 55, 56, and 57. So for somebody that's kind of OCD like me, that you got to get them all. Um, and of course, right on the back, this here box shows you all of the special features. And as you can see, the hammer set, as I was asked about, hey, Cool Blue, is region free. So you can get this one no matter where you, where you go at. So Cool Blue, are you ready for the sale? Because um, tomorrow morning, indicators only sale this year. And you're looking at probably 50% off. Uh, it's happening. This thing here is going to cost you half price. And this thing is going to be in sale. Next up from that, there is Hammer Volume 2. And Volume 2 is the Kremlin Tent one. The numbers don't, don't bother you. See, I am super, super OCD about the numbers that bother that. That's, that's the thing I need, Joy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm be, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. 
I just lucked out. I would have missed out on the box set too, Ryan, if it wasn't for the fact that my better half is smarter than me. And she said, you know what? Let's get that same bad box set. I think it's going to go out. You don't bother the indicator? Oh, dude, maybe I can change your mind. Maybe not. I'll try. We'll see. So the second volume, Crime, Crim, Criminal Intent, is really good. Actually, we got The Snorkel, which is a really fun film that my dad actually really likes. Um, the Full Treatment is a good movie. Uh, never take sweets from strangers. That's a that's a bit of a brutal one, guys. And of course, the the money movie on that one in more ways than one is the incredible Cash on Demand with Peter Cushing and Andre De, Andre Morel. Uh, it is a really cool suspenseful film. Peter Cushing. It's one of Peter Cushing's best performances, in uh, in my opinion. He's, it's just he plays like a bank teller. It's it's really well done. You got to check it out if you've never seen Cash on Demand. I recommend it. It's really, really good. It's got a really snazzy box set. Um, you can check it like my pre, my not the video right before this one, but the one at one, one right before the one right before this one, uh, where I actually showed off every indicator box set that I have, and that is almost all of them. Next up is Hammer Volume Three, which is Blood and Terror, and that one deals with more of their adventures one. So, say if you're not in so much into the horror stuff, and you want more of the uh, kind of the adventure type, kind of what. Back in the day, we would call the uh, the books we call the boys' adventures type of things. You know, those thrilling adventures. Um, so we got Camp on Blood Island, Yesterday's Enemy. So that's their two war ones, and then there's two more. They're action or, or oriented ones, which is the Stranglers of Bombay, which I think has Roger Delgado in it, uh, from who played the Master. And he was the first Master in Doctor Who. And there is Terror of the Tongs, which often gets like gets a bad rap, but I actually really like Terror of the Tongs. I find that these movies go, move at a really quick pace, kind of snap, 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 like they go through fairly fast. You're never bored. You never got time to be bored. It, that's the type of thing that it is. And uh, again, there's four on there, and each one of those movies are going to have their own booklet, unlike the, the Harry Harryhausen sets, which actually kind of like run a really cool book. Yeah, that's the thing. The Indicator have hands down done the best job with, with, with the Hammer stuff. Trip the teacher, not the trip the teacher type adventure. Uh, more of like uh, the, I guess it will be considered like you know, like a little problematic now, but like the evil Fu Manchuish type characters, in the uh, in the in those uh, type of films. Next up is the Five Tall Tales. So if you like westerns, this one is really going to be on your on your radar. And this is uh, the Bud Boddicker set. Uh, you hope it isn't true. <laughs> teacher type adventure. Um, what was terrible? Trip the teacher? You didn't like Trip the teacher? Come on, that's not a bad film. <clears throat> um, the Bud Boddicker films with the Randolph Scott. And Boddicker does more of an adult type of western. His characters all do run a bit of the like the stoicness like of maybe like you know of a John Wayne-ish thing but not in that same vein. Boddicker's slightly different. Uh, I, I really like Boddicker's style. I, I like the there's a lot of revenge. There's there's a ton of revenge coming in the Boddicker westerns and Randolph Scott is like he's he's just he epitomizes that kind of, that that type of character that uh that kind of like take take charge kind of every man character and he does it extremely well there are uh, five films in this set and i really really recommend it if you're a western fan uh next up is the samuel fuller at columbia set and this is a biggie because we got seven films in this uh in this set uh, now one thing that you should know about the samuel fuller at columbia set is is uh if you've got the the previous set the sony set uh it's like that but it is now turbocharged with a ton of extras it's on blu-ray it looks a lot sexier a lot better um and uh it's a place to study fuller because you're gonna see you're gonna get fuller's work as a screenwriter before the last couple of films are going to give you fuller's first work as in the director's chair so you're going to see a bit of progression in fuller and uh, in his writing, you're going to even going to get a Douglas Sirk film in this one. So that's really cool as well. So Douglas Sirk is a fantastic director. Definitely look him up. Uh, and uh, he has he directs one of these Samuel Fuller's like pen films in uh, in this set. 
The last two up on this one here that I think are going to make it for this one uh, are the William Castle Let Columbia sets. Now there are two volumes of these. People tend to go for the first volume more than the second volume and there's actually a pretty good reason for that. The first volume really deals with a lot of like highly regarded and highly known William Castle films. Volume 1 you got The Tingler, you got The 13 Ghosts, you got Homicidal, you got Mr. Sardonicus. Uh, those are in looks definitely some of the best coolest films that William Castle put out. Uh, honestly out of the 13 Ghosts is probably like the lightest of the uh, of the films on that one but uh, for me the first film William Castle really doesn't have a uh, an actual bad movie on the uh, set. The sale starts tomorrow Dave and it starts at 12 UK time so as you guys know if you're not in the UK if you're in if you're in Canada or if you're in the US then what that usually means is that's earlier for us so when they say 12 that's 8 o'clock for me Canadian time so I'm not sure what it is for you over there but uh, for me that's that's 8 a.m. Uh, and uh, we get the documentary on here as well so if you really want to dive into William Castle you really want to know a lot about his stuff there's a spine tingler documentary it runs around 82 minutes long it is really really good and it tells you everything that you would ever need to know about William Castle and a little bit more and it's going to make you want to buy the second volume too so while you're there and you're getting that first volume you might as well get the second volume I know it's got some teaser movies it's not the horror stuff that you would expect from the first volume we're looking at some more comedic stuff and some adventure stuff uh, and one kind of horror or thriller type of stuff depends on how you want to take it it has Zots with Tom Poston and Zots is a very much a flubber-esque type of Disney style kind of comedic one uh, that you didn't know that you wanted to see but actually it is uh, it is really really fun to uh, to see actually I, I got your your new one on there and ready dude get ready for this tomorrow tomorrow indicator I think it's 8 a.m. or maybe even earlier maybe it's 7 30 your time uh, the indicator sale starts the indicator sale dude around things usually around half usually around half off something somewhere around there uh, like I think regular ones are like can be like nine or ten pounds type of thing maybe a little bit less uh, box sets go in for maybe like 25 to 27 pounds so uh, really really big really big it's cheap <clears throat> so the Wim, Wim, second William Castle set you also get 13 frightened girls which is the spy adventure one that I told you about on the last video that we talked about William Castle on the old dark house which is more of a comedic take on the old dark house and the Joan Crawford classic uh, straight jacket cool blue they are a UK company one of the good things about them always check ahead of time is though that most of the stuff that they put out not everything but uh, most of the stuff that uh, they put out are region free do I think some titles will get sold out I really do I think you're going to I'd go in for some of the box sets early especially if you're looking at some of the hammer type of stuff that type of stuff uh, that's been around for a bit I'm not quite sure how many are available in like the first three volumes of the hammer stuff and uh, let's say same with the William Castle stuff. I think the horror stuff we get a lot of horror fans like people that really want to get the genre stuff so you're going to see people like looking like looking at those William Castle sets looking at those hammer sets you know it is it's you know it's late August October's around the corner people are thinking Halloween they're thinking they're thinking okay I, I, I didn't get these sets before I didn't get these sets before they're going to look at them they're going to see them on there and uh, you're going to see I'd say some stuff like this and some of the regular stuff will sell out as well so let's get into their regular editions let's start from the oldest to the newest and uh, that is the that's the way that I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to run this one they have got the rights to to some hammer films so far cool blue they got three box sets of hammer put out there uh, this this here is one of them this is the first one not a problem anytime I can help um, this is the first one there are three out there right now they have announced a fourth hammer volume coming out there is rumors that the that originally there were supposed to be four volumes of hammer but instead what we're going to get is five hammer volumes because they may have some extra films as well so it's going to depend on how they do it so we'll uh, we'll look into that and uh, I will actually grab one of my single releases I haven't seen it but I've heard about it 
All right, so let's go through some of their regular releases. Obviously, some stuff is already sold out here, so uh, from before. So now, I mentioned Hammer, I mentioned Westerns, I mentioned I went to mention William Castle, I mentioned Samuel Fuller. Obviously, this is a company that is very eclectic in the stuff that they put out. So you're going to hear a lot of different things uh, that are here. So for one. The, uh, the first two releases that are that are here, because uh, I, I went back, I went all the way back, and we're going to go all the way up, is two Sidney Poitier films. So if you're a fan of Sidney Poitier, these are these are some of these classics, and these are still the limited editions. The, you have the limited editions still available of these, and that is Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and it's a Sir with Love. Uh, I mean, it's the other Blu-ray, or Amara. So well, these here are cool blu or These are all, the, all their stuff are Blu-ray. Some of the early stuff was Blu-ray DVDs. Uh, they actually did like some combos, but they quickly moved into just Blu-ray actually uh, quickly after that. So if you're a fan of either one of those films, um, I don't get a lot of people on my channel that usually like uh, some of that stuff. But uh, To Serve With Love is one that I used to like when I was a kid. Uh, I actually don't own that film. And it was one of those, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm a bit of a softie. You got to the ending, the sequence of To Serve With Love. Lulu does, does that does that song. What do I do? I'm sniffing. I'm sad. I, I'm a little sappy next up is happy birthday to me now happy birthday to me did have a mill creek release uh it had a problematic release at first um as you know mill creek is going to be like it's going to be no frills at all <laughs> uh however the happy birthday to me release is actually uh, is in low stock thank you blue uh from the last email so guess who's coming to dinner obviously yeah i would expect it would be because right now uh like these are the um, what the ones I'm talking about now, these are some of the older ones. Uh, some have already, it's like when 10 Rellington Place came out, that one sold out, Body Double sold out, Christine sold out, the limited edition of those. And the difference between a regular edition and a limited edition here, let me just grab a Happy Birthday to Me, which I would guess is probably on the close to being sold out range right now. It's a great slash film, by the way, if you haven't got it. Go for this. Well, the subject is indicator, but ask me anyway. All right, so limited edition means to them that any type of like interior artwork or any booklets, uh, those are only through the uh, limited editions. It's well, the booklet, and if there's like a, if there's reversible artwork, that's usually gone as well, Dave. So uh, if you can get them, uh, you know, with the booklet, definitely go for it with the booklet. If you can't, you know, the movies are good anyway. Nice. That, I actually really love Curse the Werewolf. So this is a, this is Happy Birthday to Me. This is still available on their website. This will be available tomorrow uh, at a sale price. This is one of the early ones. Uh, this is actually a really cool like kind of exploitation slasher film. Uh, unlike the, uh, the the other version, this one actually has a. Uh, we have like both scores. We got the alternate alternative five point one surround sound soundtrack. We got the original score on here as well. There is a commentary with the Hysteria Continues team, it's including with, of course, Justin Kurzweil from author of Teenage Wasteland. Um, you got original tra trailer and TV spots, new improved English subtitles. That does mean a lot to a lot of people. There was originally 5,000 of these in print and we'll have this booklet right here. So if you're interested in getting Happy Birthday to Me with the booklet, this is the time to grab this one. And it is a really kind of a, a glorious, little film i do think that if any like guess who's coming to dinner and happy birthday to me will be two of the ones that'll sell out I'd, i would i would definitely go with that one i would definitely go with that one if you who's the best spider-man spider-man movies spider-man 2 um <clears throat> she says homecoming my better half would say homecoming um I think Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire is my favorite Spider-Man film. Um, the best Spider-Man is Tom Holland, uh, like in my opinion, like because he balances it. Tobey Maguire did a really good Peter Parker. Uh, let me find out for you. Um, yes, it is. Gloriously, as you can see right here, guys, it is a region free one. So it's ABC and region zero. So and this one, this is this is one of the early ones. So on the early releases. You got yourself a Blu-ray and a DVD. And not only that, but you are also going to get yourself this really cool looking 
poster artwork from Happy Birthday to Me. This is the this is exactly what I saw when I was in Ontario when they showed the poster uh, for this in the back of one of my newspaper. I used to when I was a kid I used to clip cut out posters that would be in the back of like my newspaper and put them into like a scrapbook and happy birthday to me I was fascinated with uh, so uh, it had one of those blind before I'd seen it hey Andy how's it going sales tomorrow dude are you ready so next up in the limited editions is the classic Orson Welles Rita Hayworth film the lady from Shanghai uh, so if you're you're a fan of, of that film that one's that one is still available in the limited edition next up after that it, we got fat city then and this is one i don't know how low this one is you probably know <clears throat> but ghosts of mars probably a while <laughs> after all it's going on probably a while uh <clears throat> ghosts of mars is a limited edition now they put out two john carpenter ones they also put out the movie vampires now, just to let you know, Vampires, the limited edition of Vampires, um, is gone. Uh, so, but you can now get the regular release of Vampires. You're going to miss out on the slip, uh, on the on the booklet and all that. But if you're a fan, if you're thinking of picking up Ghosts of Mars, uh, I do recommend the Vampires one as well. And I'll tell you why right now, because they did that sneaky thing that uh, the Kinos does. Uh, was not on the list. It's it's a, it's gonna be a slower sale. It's not one of the better, better ones, um, because obviously they did a, a interview with John Carpenter and uh, kind of a apparently a really cool interview. I don't have these releases, but from what I've heard, what people have told me, hey Cinematech, I'm here talking about the indicator sale that's starting tomorrow morning. Uh, the Ghost of Mars and and the and the Vampire one go together in that like. Part one of the of the John Carpenter interview is on the vampire sneaky way to get you to grab both of them, but uh, it's a John Carpenter one. You know you kind of want it, and I think if I am correct, because I do want to check <clears throat> that the Ghost of Mars is probably region free as well, and it is. Wow, so. And as for feature-wise, like Ghost of Mars has part two of the interview, uh, which runs at 41 minutes. I think there's 34, 35 minutes for the first part of the interview. So like it's a 79-minute interview altogether. Uh, well, almost 80. Man, it's like video diary, uh, scoring Ghost of Mars, special effects, concept art gallery, a 24-page booklet. Uh, and remember, Ghost of Mars still has the limited edition. It's God the Wax Monks, man. So definitely... John Baldwin was that one? I... You know, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I'm going to say yes, because I don't know. <clears throat> so if you like horror and you're looking at stuff like that, Ghost of Mars, that's still there. All right, next up is, I think it's still there, isn't it? I'm going to check, because I'm, I'm kind of curious now, because that looks like it's grayed out. And it didn't look grayed out a minute ago. Oh, it's still there, good. Buy it now. Uh, all right, so next up is the last detail. Ghost of Mars is one I originally didn't like, but I, but it kind of grew on me over time. Uh, with uh, with Jack Nicholson, which is a fantastic little film. So if you like the last detail, the limited edition of that one's available. Next up is the classic Glenn Ford film, Experiment in Terror. I really did like that film. Uh, I've actually only ever seen that movie uh, either on TV or on a really kind of low rent VHS. I've never seen it on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, but uh, it is a really cool little film. You follow that up with the Anderson tapes with Sean Connery, and that's a Sidney LeMay film. So you know that's there under for under the limited editions. Now, <clears throat> sold out is the New Centurions and Hardcore limited editions. I think there's regular editions of those as well. <clears throat> and he's not trolling you. That's what's going on right now, dude. I actually made a video about it yesterday. So check out that video in a little bit. Um, it's there's a big battle between Sony and and the MCU and between fans right now. Next up is The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T, which is a movie. What's a Dr. Zeus movie? Thank you so much, Rich. I really appreciate that because my my stream yesterday, uh, I'm not going to say it didn't go the way I wanted it to. It's just, 
it, it, it let's just say it didn't the viewership was not what what a you know what you expect uh because I've, i was very passionate about what i was talking about and uh and i did never i never did get to go in, all into the wrestling stuff that i want to talk about but overall I, I i think thank you so much because uh i was hoping it went well but i was, wasn't quite sure um next up is the big heat which is directed by uh fritz thank you uh which is directed by fritz lang and again stars glenn ford if you've never seen the big heat it is a classic movie it is a fantastic fantastic movie yeah you could end up with like not seeing another tom holland movie <laughs> just putting that out there um and if you've never seen the big heat i do recommend it it is a really good film and it belongs in everyone's collection uh I've got it here on a set, but I would definitely upgrade that one. It's a really good film. Uh, next up is the classic Marlon Brando film, The Wild One. Uh, yeah, we already all know that one. Next up after that is Ship of Fools. Send me for a box set. A lot of Tall Tales. So those are going to be two really nice sets. How much is Big Heat? Well, right now Big Heat is running at fifteen ninety nine, dollars um, But uh, I'm, I'm thinking Big Heat is going to be running like maybe nine, nine pounds tomorrow, maybe even a little bit less. He is still contracted. Well, so is Garfield. Whether they end up using them or not, it's going to be a different story. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that. Uh, oh, hey, they say a lot shot, dude. Welcome, man. Um, the problem is that the Sony went out. Sony went all in on on when they put like Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff all over their their Spider-Man movies. There's a lot of stuff that has to go. Uh, and that may be problematic in trying to make another Tom Holland film. Um, just seriously, just go look back, watch one of the films again, and look at all the stuff in it that actually is related to the MCU, including both the villains and Zendaya's character. Uh, next up is Wolf, the limited edition of Wolf, which is uh, a, a, a different type of werewolf film. Um, I'd people that's a that's a dream thing cinematech that people are thinking but i really think that uh that a spider-verse thing is only going to happen in the animated universe limited edition vampires this sort of but there is a regular edition of vampires so you can still get that two-part interview uh so uh because the regular edition of vampires is out there and should be available during the sale uh wolf of course has jack nicholson and james spader and the gorgeous michelle pfeiffer uh next up we got fragments of fear with david hemmings uh, i was actually going to get that one a while back um but i passed on it which one worth the blind buy uh <laughs> vampires uh, vampires yeah vampires is a lot of fun um It's like if you like Ghosts of Mars, for instance, you're, you're going to really love vampires. Uh, <clears throat> because it's much better film. All right, if you're a fan of Woody Allen, the next one up is The Front, which has Woody Allen and, and Zero mostly. Uh, and all the ones I'm mentioning so far are limited edition. Uh, oh, you're a bad man. <laughs> <clears throat> have it i've seen all three of there's three of them actually uh the vampires films i'm pretty sure it's three of them right <laughs> right on kubrick lover kubrick lover man this is right up your alley indicator are having their once a year sale and once a year they have a sale things go down really really low and uh that's tomorrow man and and, and it's for the weekend and I know you're like a criterion type of guy an indicator uh, definitely has criterion level like stuff with with what they do uh, after the the front we've got Rita Tushing Tushkam in the in housekeeping which is it is awful <laughs> um, which which actually is really kind of a fun film we follow that up with Warren Beatty and Mickey one which is a really different type of film oh, this one's not gonna be available on the sale unfortunately because it's a brand new one obviously so let's out you know you just got it but uh it's one of the only ones releases like in the box sets that i don't have that i do need to get you guys know my dream of doing like the the comparison 
Uh, next up is the is Castle Keep with Burt Lancaster, and you guys know anything Burt Lancaster, I will uh, I'll swear by. The National Health is the next one, which which is a different film. Next one up, I can recommend, and that is The Stone Killer. I'm a really big fan of this film. It's a Charles Bronson film. Um, yes, there you go. Another one's really low in stock. I love this movie, and it has a kind of a special place. I had the book. I bought it at a one of those library sales when I was a kid. Uh, it had the, it has the exact same cover on the book as it does on the on, on the Blu-ray right there. For me, you can never go wrong with with a, with a Charles Bronson, especially around that era. Uh, really, really liked Stone Killer. Oh, definitely check it out, man. Uh, definitely, definitely check that one out. Uh, Pumpkin Eaters next with Anne Bancroft. Uh, some of these I know more about than others. If I pass by them and I you know I don't talk about them too much it could be the fact that you know i don't remember the film or maybe i just haven't seen it hey there jr next one is otley with uh with romy schneider which i kind of remember not well but uh but i remember that could be kind of a fun film oh are there any tells i recommend avo avoiding uh honestly it really depends i don't indicator is a company that that has been like really solid um as far as their box sets go uh, there, there's absolutely nothing uh, that I that I would say don't get. Uh, in all honesty, it's going to depend. Like, look at the movies uh, to see if something that you're going to be interested in. Their releases are yeah, blues right there. Uh, all the releases are really, really good and really well done. Uh, if Criterion and Arrow had a baby, it would be Indicator. Uh, just giving it. What, you know, with fooling around with BFI on the side, because um, you're going to get like some really good releases. You're going to get like some solid cases, some incredible booklets, uh, some some alternate artwork, uh, some amazing special features. Just really cool stuff. And sometimes you're going to get some really, really, really cool alternate artwork. The Bloody Tear set is definitely one to get. Unfortunately, I do not think I d that that's going to be a part of the sale where it is a brand new release. I've heard, I've never ordered directly from them, but I've heard amazing stuff about the customer service. And I heard some people actually got like indicator bags sometimes when they buy some of the releases. Indicator does load up on features. Uh, Rich, let me put it to you this way. Um, on the Samuel Fuller set, for instance, there is, there's an interview with Samuel Fuller. Um, all right, but it's not just any interview. Uh, it's a huge interview. It, Tim Robbins conducts the interview. The first part of that interview runs 192 minutes long. I'm not joking here. The second part of that interview runs around 226, somewhere around there. Uh, that's just two, that's just interviews. They usually, whenever they can, they'll put like Guardian interviews on their releases. They'll put like featurettes, uh, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> Less than a week? Wow. Uh, they really do a good job putting their stuff together. Uh, next up is a limited edition for uh, Albert Finney's movie Gumshoe, which I thought was really fun. Uh, some people love it. Some people are kind of iffy on it. Uh, definitely, you know, more of a comedic one. Sarah Light Shot. Hopefully, if you do get some stuff, let me know what you get, man. I thought, I thought Gumshoe was fun. Maybe not for everybody, but I enjoyed it. The Deadly Affairs, decent one too as well. A Day in the Death of Joe Egg with Alan Bates. I really don't remember that one, so I'm not. I, I cannot lie. So anytime you guys, if I say something, guys, and you and it is something that you think somebody on here or you think that pe that you got it already from Indicator, and you say this is a really good release, you really need this one. S let people know. <laughs> That's good to know, especially when you got those like sexy box sets. Uh, next up is The Reckoning, uh, followed up by The Chase with Marlon Brando. And I really, really do like The Chase, so that was a really good movie. The next one is one, if I could get anything from the sale, I don't think I am this time around. I wish I could, but if there's anything that I could get from the sale, like as, as in a single release, I really do like See No Evil uh, with Mia Farrell. I, I, al I always enjoyed that film. It's one that, that kind of stu stood out to me. The limb edition is still available, but if I'm correct, and you can like let me know if I am, I think this one is getting actually fairly low in uh, in stock. It's a Richard Fleischer film. Logan, dude, yeah, that one is out of... Are you, are you ready for the sale, though? It's happening tomorrow, man. Tomorrow morning. To uh, Basically, it's the weekend. It's a weekend-long sale. It's their only sale of the year. 
give you the chance to get some of these sexy indicator ones. I'm sure you got a few of them, but some sexy indicator stuff. If, you, if there's a box set you're missing, now's the time, dude. Now's the time. Uh, well, tomorrow is the time. But yeah, I do re I do definitely recommend uh, See No Evil. Uh, I think both versions are here as well. Um, because it's a US and UK version. Yeah, you can get the standard, like, login tax. Hey, PMAC, welcome to it. Dude, I'm guessing you're getting ready for this. Now, a lot of, like, Sino Evil stuff like that is a 3,000, has 3,000 copies. Some of these are up to 5,000, but a lot of these are, you know, are as little as 3,000 copies, which may seem like a lot to you right now. But trust me, once these things sell out and you can't get these sexy, sexy booklets, which, yeah, you know, you know you're going to watch. There's just way too much sexiness to these books that you you got to have them. Vampires with 7,000 copies. Wow. I, I have heard PMAC that from previous year sales that they've done that you're looking at somewhere between, I think, around 7 to $9. Uh, <laughs> you do rock it. Uh, between, for, the, for the single titles... And anywhere, I think, between 24 to 27 for the box sets. So, obviously, that's significant cut in the price. I'm not sure if the price is going to be, I'm going to do a 50% off, cut even more. But uh, I've heard that, you know, don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard. And uh, that's there's, that's the reason they can only do this once a year. They are, you know, they are a smaller company. And... Uh, it, it's that it's pretty awesome next up is of course town on trial which is another limited edition that's actually a really fun film and unfortunately blue collar is out of print i really 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 love blue collar uh, that one's going to come back to standard edition but it won't be during the sale any other amicus flicks besides uh, torture guard. Nope. Not that I know for actually. Uh, maybe I'll, as I go through, I'll find out. But this is the only one. If you don't have torture guard though, Logan, I think you got this one, don't you? Uh, definitely grab this one. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely time to hoard up PMAC. Um, now, yeah. Oh yeah, dude, if you don't have this one, grab it. This, this is amazing. And not only does it have both versions of the film because I was unaware until I got this one that there were two editions of this film. There's a 93 minute theatrical version and an extended 100 minute TV cut of the film. Uh, there also is a 77, in, this is going to interest you, Logan. There's a 77 minute interview with, with director Freddie Francis on her as well that was done from, uh, that Guardian did. Uh, you're looking at like uh, Kim Newman on here, Ramsey Campbell on here. You're you could do what my better half did. So when I originally met my better half, this was like before we started dating or anything. We were just like friends and that, hanging out. So she went to uh, the wine show. Um, and uh, the, we have a wine show every year. Like, well, when we lived in St. John's, there was a wine show that happened every year. Um, and so she went to the wine show and she got a bit tipsy and she bought a cake. She bought a, she bought a lot of wine, a lot of gifts, a lot of like, we had a lot of parties, like, you know, based not, not parties as in, like, if you're younger, not that type of party, but in the, you know, wine and cheese party, stuff like that. So she bought, like, a whole trunk full of wine. And let's say she she just, like, maneuvered around her landlord for the next couple of weeks because that, that was her rent money. No, I'm not that interested. <laughs> That's going to be an Amazon type party. It's more of, like, uh, you know, a bunch of us sitting down. And um, just uh, basically having some food. Uh, one of my friends is from, uh, God, I miss him. Uh, he's, for, he's from Mexico. And so he would make like these uh, authentic like uh, Mexican dishes. And we would like, we'd have like like nachos and we'd have salsa and all this, you know, burritos and all that type of stuff. And my better half, she would always try to, Kind of, kind of pee them off of it by bringing some like generic thing like auto pass or something like that, and that's that's not legit to him. So he was he was not happy about that. Anyway, <laughs> um, hey, B Movie Archives, how's it going, man? 
Oh, it is so good. Especially get the right stuff. It's really good. Uh, the Border with Jack Nicholson. Again, another really good movie. Uh, the Fortune with Warren Beatty and Jack Nicholson. We've got a lot of Jack Nicholson here, don't we? Um, Sudden, Suddenly Last Summer with uh, Elizabeth Taylor looking gorgeous actually in there. With Catherine Hepburn, Montgomery Clift. Um, the stage play turned into a movie. Uh, that would be an awesome party. <laughs> uh, Little Murders uh, with Elliot Gould. Vinny's not here again. He's missing out on this. Uh, another Elliot Gould reference. Just saying. Just putting that out there. Vinny's Video Vault misses out on an Elliot Gould reference. Make sure he knows that. <laughs> Next up is The Effects of Gamma Rays on Man in the Moon Marigolds. That's a long title. And it's Joanne Woodward. The next one is one that I would not, if I had like, as I go through this, as I mentioned the title, if it's one that I would pick up, I'm going to tell you, you know, don't have the, if I don't have, I don't have the bones picked up now, it's one that would be high on my list. Next is one that would probably be pretty high on my list, and that is the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, I really do like that movie. I think uh, Ralph Meeker and George Segal's in the movie. Uh, if you know me, you know that uh, one of my favorite films stars Ralph Meeker, and that is the little Criterion film. That's up there, and I'll let you figure it out. It's Kiss Me Deadly. There you go. I, uh, I couldn't wait to tell you. All right. So next up is there's the China Syndrome with Jack Lemmon, Jane Fonda, and Michael Douglas. So there's uh, obviously a class. I remember seeing that one when I was young. Uh, I'm feeling old right now. We we'll followed that up with the Albert Brooks film, and a really good Albert Brooks film too, with Modern Romance. Again, these are all limited editions. When it's not limited edition, I will definitely let you know. Well. Probably not this time around. If I was going to go for any sale, Cinematheque, I'd be going for the for this sale right now because I did buy Arrow stuff during the Arrow like uh, during the Arrow's like big sale. So I'm I'm pretty set for Arrow right now. I'm I'm setting up for Halloween. I am probably going into. I don't know if anybody else is going to grab the in, any of the new upcoming Severance stuff that's coming out, but I know I'm grabbing some of that stuff. And I will. I was going to mention that later on in the video, but I will uh, definitely mention that. Jack Lemmon is a, definitely an iconic actor and uh, under underrated as uh, as well. Uh, Footsteps in the Fog with Stuart Granger and Gene Simmons. Uh, not that Gene Simmons. Uh, we got the Odessa File coming up next. Missing with Jack Lemmon, another Jack Lemmon. Kind of tour de force with Sissy Spacek. Uh, a David Mamet one. O Ole Oleana. And uh, i trying to remember that one. I don't remember it. Don't remember very well. Ministry of Fear. I've got the Criterion edition of that one. If you don't have the Criterion of that one, I'd recommend getting this one because this one, well, its cover is way, way better than my Criterion. Like, way, way better. Now, next up is one that would be the first one to go in my cart as a single release on this sale, and that is The Collector with Terrence Stamp and Samantha Egger. I'm a huge, huge fan of the movie The Collector. I really love that film. Uh, I haven't seen it in years. Uh, I want to see what features around this one because this is this is one that would definitely tempt me. Uh, this is this would be on my like watching for the 31 Days of Horror type of thing, right there. If you're doing that type of thing, Logan, uh, and ready if you're still there. Uh, any any of you guys that are doing that type of stuff? And oh wow, okay. So the collector is a stacked stacked edition. It starts out with the Guardian interview with uh, William Wyler, uh, which is an ar archival audio recording. And that is an 83-minute long interview. It follows it up with another audio interview with Terrence Stamp going at 92 minutes. There's a 30-minute exclusive like interview with Terrence Stamp, a modern one. Uh, definitely one to check out. Uh, the, there's Angel to Devil. What the, that is the Terrence Stamp one. Um, the nothing but but Death, which is an interview with uh, Samantha Egger, runs 16 minutes long. There's just like a little small promotional thing there as well. Uh, and like the location collector, where basically just shows the locations of it. Uh, Richard Combs and the Collector, which is a short like appreciation. It has, it's a 40 page booklet, a limited edition of 3000 on that one. Really, really cool. If you haven't seen the Collector, it's a really cool, eclectic, kind of odd little film uh, directed by Wilder and uh, basically. You've got Terrence Stamp in like in an earlier role. He's really kind of like a strange character. He collects like butterflies, that type of thing. And he sees Samantha Egger, and he uh, he becomes entranced with her, 
and he makes her part of his collection and we see where it goes from there if you want to know what happens when he when he takes her and makes her part of his collection uh yeah that's amazing special feature stack man it's 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 a good one next up is another cool terrence stamp movie it's definitely a different film but man would it be one that i would put in my cart and that is an odd little film but called the mind of mr soames uh again another limited edition one we got and there you go you wanted an amicus film logan the mind of mr soames i knew there was another amicus film that they put out the mind of mr soames is another amicus release and it is a different unique kind of odd little film uh if you've never seen it just read you the description really quickly uh right now and it is such such an unusual little kind of fun film Terrence Stamp is a young man left comatose from birth who is awakened live on TV and into a world he cannot comprehend and exploited and exploited as a living curiosity. Uh, remarkable uh, in its depiction of reality TV years before reality TV was a thing. The film has an amazing cast here. We got Robert Vaughn, Nigel Davenport, Christian Roberts, Donnell Donnelly, Vickery Turner, uh, Billy Williams does the cinematography on this one here. You're looking at an auto commentary with Kevin Lyons there is a uh, an interview again with uh with Terrence Stamp uh, an interview with the uh, cinematographer on here as well and you're looking at a 36 page booklet uh definitely not as stacked as a collector but still a really weird kind of cool eclectic little film that if you're a Terrence Stamp fan if you're a fan of Amicus this is a different Amicus film that you can get and it's not an anthology film it just goes to show you Amicus was more than the sum of their parts. They were more than anthology. They did a lot of really different stuff and they really kind of pushed the limits on some films. And The Mind of Mr. Soames is one of those type of films where they kind of went in a different, different direction. Next up is Richard Burton's Absolution. Um, not a lot to say about that. I really like the film. Um, Born of Fire would be up next. And uh, up, up next is Georgia Girl, limited edition on that one as well. Uh, wrong, the wrong box. I don't really remember that one that one very well, but uh, what a cast we got like John John Mills, Ralph Richardson, Michael Caine, Peter Cook, Dudley Moore, Nanette Newman, Tony Hancock, and Peter Sellers. The lime is the limey here. Uh, the limey. The, oh, the Terrence Stamp film the limey. That I'm not sure if they got that, but if you've never seen it, I really do like that movie. That's actually uh, a, an odd odd that you mentioned. It's a personal favorite of mine. I actually really like the limey. Next up is Charlie Bubbles, which again is another kind of like quirky, like like English film with, with Albert Finney. Did you ever want to see a lot of Helen Mirren, like a lot of a young Helen Mirren? And by a lot, I mean her completely naked when she's really young. Well, if you did, and you like James Mason as well, then there's a little movie you may want to check out called The Age of Consent. It is actually a really, really good film. I've watched it several times. I've got like a DVD release of it. I would really love to upgrade this one to a Blu-ray because I've always been a big fan of The Age of Consent. I always thought it was a really cool film. James Mason plays this artist. Helen Mirren is this kind of this free spirit. Um, if you've never seen it, definitely worth checking out. Um, it's, a, it's a Michael Powell film. I'm pretty sure it's a Michael Powell film, right? Yeah, it's a Michael Powell film. So if you're a fan of like Powell and Pressburger, this is one that Powell did on his own. It's, it's a really kind of cool, fun film. Um, there's two presentations of the film through here as well. You get the 107 minute long 2005 direct, uh, res restoration director's cut, and you get the studio cut, which was scored by uh, by somebody by Stanley Myers, by a completely different person. And uh, that one runs at 100 minutes. You're going to get a auto commentary with Kent Jones. You're going to get an 85-minute John Player's lecture with Michael Powell, an audio recording. I love these things. These are amazing. If you're a cinephile, you got to love this stuff. Long Good Friday is amazing. I love that film. That's behind me right there. And uh, yep, I had to get that set. There's a Guardian interview with Michael Powell and and Emmerich Pressburger here running at 105 minutes. So there you got your 85 minute one with a lecture with, with Michael Powell. You're gonna get your Guardian interview at 105 minutes. There's a 38 minute in-depth appraisal of the film um, here as well by Ian Christie. You're gonna get a 17 minute like uh, interview with the production manager, Kevin Powell. Martin Scorsese gonna do kind of a six minute introduction talking about the, 
about the film. There's going to be a 30 minute uh, talk with uh, with Helen Mirren there, uh, a conversation with the underwater photographers of the film as well. And there is, oh, this is interesting. Wow. Okay. So The Boy Who Turned Yellow, a 54 minute uh, presentation, Powell and Pressburger's final collaboration, which was made for the Children's Film Foundation. That is, I, I wow, that just moved to the top of the list of stuff that, that I want. Uh, I love the movie Age Consent. 54 minute long, the last collaborate, their final collaboration, guys. And, and it comes with a 40 page booklet. And amongst that booklet is essays by Sam Deegan. You know that I'm a huge fan of Sam Deegan, so that would be something I would be definitely into getting. So there, Age of Consent, guys, put that one on your radar if you're a fan of Michael Powell or Pressburger. It's a must. Next up, we get the cool, classic, really fun film with Joan Crawford. You got, you got, say you go and you pick up, uh, you go and you pick up the William Castle ones. You got, the, you got straight jacket there in volume two. What do you want to get to go along with that? You want Berserk, of course you do. Uh, Berserk is a really fun, kind of cool little film. Uh, and again, you're getting an audio commentary. You, you're getting like Jonathan Rigby talking about Berserk. You're going to get Pamela Hutchinson talking on Joan Crawford. Uh, there's gonna they're gonna be talks on on her, on Herman Cohen. Okay, this is really cool. Logan, you still there, man? Uh, Tom Baker is beyond belief. VHS introduction for Berserk. I did not know that was a thing. That's on here. And Tom Baker's beyond belief outtakes. So, wow, uh, that's really cool. I'm a Doctor Who fan. You guys know that. Uh, I really want Berserk now. Yeah, there's there's some really good stuff here. Uh, next up is RPM, Revolutions Per Minute, uh, followed by the very cool Charles Bronson. I'm going to say the other thing Carl, Charles Bronson's cool is Breakout with, with Bronson. Of course, Jill Arlen's in that one, and I think Shelley Duvall. Uh, Gardens of Stone is up next unfortunately the last movie sold out like the limited edition but the regular edition is there's a regular edition out i don't think it's gonna be on the sale though psych 59 is up next then you get Haley mills and alva reed and take a girl like you uh, a severed head is the uh, is the next one followed by the third secret a dandy and aspic the virgin soldiers and glenda jackson and oliver reed we got another Oliver reed film here in the triple echo so there's a ton of stuff here coming out from this uh, from this sale and we got to be getting close to the uh, to the end of like uh, of the year but let's let's keep going we're gonna go anyway and and just keep going with a lot of this stuff I'm not quite sure when which ones berserk is, is awesome huh um, next up is immaculate conception and uh, follow that up with the Vincent Price film Dragonwick uh, a lot of us have like the the old DVD edition of that one on the Fox Classic Horror Collection. Uh, loved upgrade that one. Next up is Olivia de Havilland in the Snake Pit, uh, followed by Reckless Moment with James Mason and Joan Bennett. We got Lilith here, Track Twenty Nine, Bellman and True, and Who, which was put out by uh, Kino, as well actually. Um, no Orchards for Mrs. Blanchard, The Lonely Passion of Judith Hearn, uh, The Limited Edition. I'm not sure if this is going to be available or not. I'm not sure when it was released. Let me find out when it was released. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Amazon.co.uk because I want to see when this one came out. Because I do not have Scum. So Scum was released, oh, Scum was released in June of 2019, so that's probably not going to be on the sale. So, uh, yeah. But anything from, like, say, probably, I'd say from probably Reckless Moment and back is going to be, like, on the sale. Legacy is low stock. It'll be interesting to see if they put some of those those editions on on there like legacy obviously recently came out so i don't see it being as part 
being part of the sale but it but if it is dude like seriously pick it up uh i think kathy was here last night she's not here right now she had missed out on the limited edition of bunny lake is missing uh there is a standard edition of that one as, as now as of now but i do not think it's going to be available yet on the sale it's like torture garden this here limited edition is out of print but the original version of torture garden uh the standard edition is available <clears throat> but there you go guys that is the indicator sale that is going on and wow in 65 minutes we've gotten through all of those so what there are you most interested in so what's your i like to know what everybody's number one is if you're looking at the sale what's your number one right now what are you thinking what what's the one what do you got put on your list or maybe you've already got to put in your cart and you're waiting for tomorrow um i know a lot of people do that as well is there anything that's standing out are there, is there a box set that you want to get is there a single release that you're that you're really looking towards getting um i'm very curious you guys are really quiet <clears throat> so uh fuller's number one for you Wim Castle box sets <clears throat> again as you can tell I agree with both those I, I have them right behind me right now um, when I went to Bay Street video they had a bunch of indicator stuff and I was missing out on the William Castle sets I was missing out on the Samuel Fuller set I was missing out on the uh, on the Bud Boddicker set and I bought all four of them that day uh, right there at at Bay Street video they were very happy to see me that day i'm pretty sure they were um hammer volume one the ray harry's box there's some the box sets it's hard to make a case not to go for these sets <laughs> how long's the interview because dave is going to matter um see I got the old Twilight Time release of vampires it was actually given to me as a gift uh, <clears throat> but uh if I'm gonna grab vampires uh, uh, nine tenths out of ten unless it's one heck of an interview with the Scream Factory edition uh, buying vampires and ghosts of Mars from indicator gets me an 80 minute interview with, with John Carpenter so it's going to have to be a really good interview with John Carpenter for me to, to triple dip with the Scream Factory of that one. But that's me. <clears throat> I'm weird that way. I like these long. You know, some people hate the long interviews. I'm 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 all for that type of stuff. That's yeah. That's just. I'm wired that way. I love special features. Uh, I, I. I would probably end up buying that John Carpenter one, again, from Scream Factory, just to get the, the other interview because that's me. Even though it's Vampires, I think it's a fun film. It's not my favorite Carpenter film, but I think it's a really, really fun film. The collection will be the hammer sets. The hammer sets are amazing, George. You can't go wrong with hammer sets. I mean, like, just just look right here. Like, this is their first set that, that they put out. And this, the, it is gorgeous. The Ghoul will be a really good release, actually. I would love to see that, Paul. They just do some amazing, amazing stuff with this. Lady from Shanghai, Big Heat, See No Evil. <laughs> well, Randall's kind of important. I don't want to get you kicked out of your house, man. That's that's something something I I, I cannot see. Uh, I I cannot. It I would that would weigh my conscience. It really would. Uh, but they are brilliantly beautiful sets I've got a few of them is there any set or anything that you guys want me to bring over that you that you're curious about that you want to see that maybe you missed out on my last video that you want to see up close and in person uh, that that you're wondering about because they're literally right behind me uh, it's nothing for me to go grab one and I do have all the sets except for the Norman J Warren one and except for the uh, except for the uh, of course the the one that just came out the which is the Marlene Marlene Dietrich set so of course I don't have those yes uh, the the Gorgon's on the first set uh, Paul so this one here as I'll show you right there the Gorgon maniac fanatic otherwise known as die my die die my darling and the curse of the mummy's tomb tell you what let's open up 
And I'll show you. I'll show you the Gorgon. I'll even show you both artwork. So this is the, the Gorgon right here. Of course, the classic Peter Christian, Chris Frilly. I think Andre Morel's in this one as well. You see? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, yeah, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I've got to be wrong at least once a video. But I think this other artwork is actually kind of cooler. And aside from that, there is also a... Let's see how big is this one. There's a 36-page booklet in uh, in this one here. And we'll see... Yeah. I love this era. So we get like a uh, Marcus Hearn, like uh, does the first uh, the first write up on this one here, and then you get one here on like uh, Hammer's first female monster, which is um, leaving the diner. <laughs> Are you going to get any of this stuff, Kubrick? I'm not wondering. I, I pretty much can tell you right now, Cinematech, what I saw what you did stack money. <laughs> um, what their next box set is going to be. Do you want to know what it's going to be? It's Hammer Volume 4. That's going to be their next set. That's their next big release. They've uh, they've semi-announced. They've, they've, they've put clues out there. They've shown... Uh, they, show, they sh showed like a, a little snippet of a picture from Scream of Fear. And they showed a bit of the Hammer Volume 4 uh, logo. So that's their next volume. So if you're a Hammer fan, or if you haven't got the Hammer ones, by the way, now's a great time because Hammer Volume 4 is coming out. So now is the time to stack up and get the Hammer Volumes 1 to 3 if you don't have them before, part, before Volume 4 comes out. Uh, I don't know. The only movie that I know that's going to be on Volume 4 for sure is Scream of Fear. I do not know what the rest are. Uh, Patrick Trenton's in the Gorgon. Nice. Oh, you know I've forgotten that. That's the, that's. I think so many boxes, so little money. And they do a great job with their boxes. Now just look here. This is... I just love the way they're done. And again, you can see, I know the George, it's not compared to George that they're numbered, but it, it, to me, it is kind of a big deal. I do like the numbering when it comes to uh, to this type of stuff. But when you number number it, then it makes you want to get them all. It really, really does. Uh, they do such an incredible job. They're, uh, the hammer sets are, are just amazing. And what's cool is there's such a good range. You got your monster hammer stuff. You got, you know, you get to the second volume, you got your, your thriller stuff. And uh, you get to the third volume, you got like you got Hammer Adventure movies and Hammer War movies. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to be grateful that we got co companies like Indicator right there, especially now when like there's so many different like, streaming services, and you know there's so many companies that are that that are just doing like on demand type of type of discs. When you get companies like Indicator and Arrow and Vinegar Syndrome, people like that that really are putting all this work and and stuff into into to be honest in the movies that uh, that cert that you're gonna find. Some, that's for some people are kind of niche and are, are kind of like, you know, kind of beyond the regular stuff. Now, Indicator does do a lot of like the regular bigger stuff like the, uh, you know, like the uh, like the wild ones or uh, Eureka is fantastic. Uh, Eureka and Indicator are very, very similar in, in, in the way that they're that they're done. The, the booklets especially, right? Indicator is better than Arrow in some ways. I like them both. I mean, like if Michelle was here, she would be like tisking you right now. Vinegar Syndrome Cinematech have sales twice a year. They already had their halfway to Black Friday sale, and uh, they will be having in November, they will have their Black Friday sale. And don't worry, I will be doing videos on that and uh, hoping to actually be able to guide people to get some really cool Vinegar Syndrome stuff during that uh, during that sale. So it'll be fun, I promise. And we will do, uh, you know, the month, that, that month, you know, at least a couple weeks before, we'll be doing a lot of Vinegar Syndrome. They're like tough like videos much like we're doing with the indicator one right now indicator sale came out of the blue so i didn't get to do as many or get as in depth with the ind indicator stuff as i probably would normally but uh now that i know that like this is usually around the time the sale is i'll be saving next time around for this i'll be saving up for the sale because indicator they put out a lot of good stuff and you're going to get some sexy stuff uh 
I wish I could afford the annual pass, ma'am. I really can't, but I wish I could. The book list is the, is the problem. Arrow needs to look toward, this is when you look towards companies that like the newer guys on the block, right? It, they do. The English, UK releases are so much better, man. 27 around, I think, Cook. Uh, Cook. Uh, I think they, they ran 27 at the last sale, uh, if I remember correctly. I uh, know I could be off. You could be right. I could be a bit off. But I think it was around 27. I think it was between 24 and 27, but I think it was around 27. Uh, but still, at that price, considering you know some of these get fairly high, uh, yeah, it's like it's it's going to be a good sale. Uh, it's going to be one that, uh, that I guess that a lot of people are going to be looking forward to. Yeah, that that's one thing that Aaron really needs. They really need to look towards what Indicator is doing with letting their customers know when booklets are getting low and le taking off the limited edition, letting people know, okay, the booklet's no longer there. With Arrow right now, I love Arrow. I dearly love Arrow. And they put out some amazing stuff. But you'd never know if you're getting one with a booklet or if you're not getting one with a booklet. It seems that's been an issue, especially recently. Uh, but uh, that that if there's if there's anything at all, because I'm uh, obviously that entire shelf behind me, guys, is, is, is all Arrow. Uh, what uh, that's like that uh, that's the only that would be the only pet peeve that I would have with that with with the Arrow Company right now, and those guys I I, I think are amazing. It's just look towards look towards Indicator Arrow to get this worked out, and uh, but you really can't go wrong with the UK, UK companies like they put out such great releases. I love the hard boxes, you know the way they do those. Two day, whoa, uh, yeah. I've, I actually heard about that. Like there are some issues with that. I guess the best way I can say it is, have you ever seen the Scream Factory edition of, you know, when a stranger calls back, for instance, or? It's just regular Blu-ray, that type of thing. Remember that? So this is the UK edition of When a Stranger Calls, which also includes When a Stranger Calls Back, which also includes a book and a poster. And uh, does this one include the soundtrack as well? Yeah, and a soundtrack CD. Um, this... This is a mate, dude. Paul, definitely. You haven't picked this up. You see this one round? Definitely pick this up. This is an awesome edition. You get both films too. <clears throat> UK, I buy a lot more from the UK, and, and, and again, also, I'm gonna be obviously in the next couple years. This dude, this dude's in Morocco, so those UK releases, you know, it's easier for me then. It's awesome, and you know what? Um, uh, uh, did you, you got this one, Logan, right? I'm pretty sure you do. The, uh, this has the original, like, it, well, the first thing I did when I got this was I opened it up, I turned it on, and I and I watched the short film. I watched the short film that they made, like, that actually, oh, dude, dude, let me, let me show you. Uh, so, amazing looking edition. Like, forget the Scream Factory one on this one. Then you get it. This is the alternate artwork, which is the original poster art. You open it up, you get When a Stranger Calls, you get the soundtrack, but I'm not finished. You also get the book, which is some incredible stuff, and it's a rating logo printed on the box. Nope. That, Cinematech, actually comes off. So you get unalterated, unadulterated. I just got left on here. So you can see in the back there. But let me show you one more thing. This may seal it for you. This may seal it for you, Logan. So this is the double-sided poster that comes with When a Stranger Calls Second Sight Edition. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Is this second sight? I'm pretty sure it's second sight. Yep, second sight. Uh, second sight does a lot of really good stuff. I know you guys are familiar with second sight. Obviously, they're the guys that are putting out uh, the uh, the new release for uh, for Dawn of the Dead. Uh, and like feature wise, we got brand new scan and restoration for both films. The sequel, When a Strange Calls Back in HD. The new scan and restoration for the original short film, The Sitter, directing Stranger Calls, the interview with Fred Walton, Carol Kane on When a Stranger Calls, Ratanya Alden on When a Stranger Calls, scoring Stranger, an interview with composer Dana Kaproff, a visible sleeve with new artwork by, by obviously creative and original poster art, English subtitles, original soundtrack, 40 page perfectly bound booklet, reversible poster with original, new and original artwork. So there you go. UK guy, you do it really, really well. Oh, really? Nice. <clears throat> Those Studio Canal Blu-rays are, are incredible. Uh, my dad has a... You saw, if you, saw, you saw the video with my dad, right? Uh, he, has a, he has a ton of them. Uh, my dad's a huge, huge Hammer fan. Uh, the biggest Hammer fan in the world, actually. Uh, and uh, I, I got to get some of those because they look so good. They, and they look so much better. I mean, I was going to get Scars from uh, the, uh, you know, from the Scream Factory edition, Scars Dracula, because I'm a huge Scars Dracula fan. But I looked at the the Studio Canal edition, and it just looks so much nicer. Uh, it's got you know it's got the nice slip on it. it. It just looks so cool, and I know that it is one of the best looking editions that that's out there. It's it's just incredibly well done. The January twenty twenty and January February, uh, but I think they're 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 hoping for a January release. No, I don't think Sh Shameless has released a couple titles. Recently, I gotta tell my dad that you will definitely be uh, be be proud of that. <clears throat> I uh, miss actually I miss making videos with my dad. He's uh, he's really fun to do this stuff with. Scars of Dracula, you got that one, Paul. That isn't that an amazing transfer. That is one of the best transfers of a Blu-ray release. That movie was. It's kind of like when you see Prom Night on uh, from Snaps, and you're like. It's like seeing the movie with eyes for the like with new eyes for the first time. <clears throat> Scars is like that. It, it is just such an amazing transfer. It, the, it is phenomenal. I love the Studio Canal re releases. I really, really do. And I would, I would definitely swear by them if anybody asked me. It, is, it does. It, it, lo it looks incredible. I need like I, I, want, I need Scars. I need Doctor Jekyll and Sister Hyde. That's that's definitely a big one. Yeah, a lot of Patrick Troughton flicks. That, good trout and stuff, man. Now, if only they'd release a series of Patrick Troughton on a, on a Blu-ray set. But I think we all know that that next set that's coming up from Doctor Who is uh, is going to be... I would love to be... George, my, my ideal place to live is the UK. Uh, <clears throat> it's going gonna, is gonna to be... Uh, it's going to be Sebastian Mackay. We know it's going to be Mackay. Oh, I would love to see the, the Viking Queen. There's a lot of stuff that I would like to see. I got the House of Dead Blood and Asylum on the on, on, on the when Severn put them out. They put out a really nice set. Severn did an Asylum set. Asylum, sorry, uh, an Amicus set. Asylum's the third movie. Uh, you think it's another Baker set? I, don't, I think we're gonna. Get, I think we're gonna get a. We're gonna get a Sylvester Mackay set next, and a Baker set right after. That's my, that's my, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I hope you're right, though. I would like to get all the Baker sets. Frank Simon Speed Destroyed. Uh, by different, I think a lot a lot of the original Hammer stuff they got, I think I came, meta came from Columbia or somewhere like that. I would think that uh, Revenge of Frankenstein would be like, uh, would be a good bet for, uh, for the, gonna, hey, it's going to rhyme, for the, for the next set. Or maybe like Two Faces, Dr. Jekyll, something like that. Um, I could see one of those being in the next set, if not, or both of those. That would be fantastic. Uh, there's there's a Robin Hood one that could be in the set. There's like there's a couple part ones that you could have. Uh, there's you know it, it is up in the air. Like what they really could get two more if they got if they got the rights to the films. I think they might have the rights to. They could definitely get two more sets out of uh, out of the Hammer stuff, and I would love that. And I would love for them to get the rights to more Hammer because I would love to see them put out more of that stuff. Hartnell season one release that'd be cool. Uh, but let him find Marco Polo. Uh, I love Edge of Destruction. 
I really do. Uh, it's just a favorite of mine. I'm, I'm the only person that's ever going to say that. Trust me, but uh, that's always been a favorite of mine. I love Horror Express. I do not own it, though, Stack. Um, you want to send me Horror Express? You can do uh, I, I, I love the film. I Like many people uh, my age, we grew up watching Horror Express on, uh, on TV. Uh, like Saturday mornings or like you know, late night type of thing. You'd get, you'd always see Horror Express, like, come on. And, and if you're a little bit younger than me too, you'd see them like, you'd get like the, the wonky VHS copy of it, like be really low quality and, uh, and that type of thing. Unless they can find them, unless they can find them. But yeah, they would have to animate it. I know, I gotta see that. Like the Arrow Edition is the one to get. It, it is so, so sexy looking. It was on my list like last time around. I ended up getting a Waterworld set of it. Like don't, you know, don't stone me, but I did because I, I just really am a big, like mega fan of that uh, of that film. And I'm the only one, I think. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was a really good documentary on Waterworld. <clears throat> but yeah, that's on my next uh, list of ones to get. When, uh, when I go, if Arrow has another big sale, Horror Express is probably going to be the first thing in that cart. Oh, thanks, Mug. Have a great... Thanks for you've been here for almost the entire time. Thank you so much for coming in, dude. Uh, hopefully, some of you guys have figured out, you know, got a little list of the indicator stuff that you want to get. Hopefully, you realize that UK, you guys in the UK, you do it better. You do it so much better when it comes to releasing stuff than we do here. Uh, right now, like, if somebody asked me my favorite like companies like in north like north america side uh yeah, honestly uh vinegar syndrome and severin like like are you know going like topping up that list really quickly because i just like a lot of stuff they put out i mean uh and i i, I got to say and, and i'm going to put it there now like severin just just doesn't get enough credit for uh, for some of the stuff that they do. Show Factory is fantastic. Oh, I love a lot of stuff Show Factory does. I I think Scream Factory is extremely well known and maybe a little bit uh, like overrated at at this point. Uh, but uh, that that being said, I love their stuff. Obviously, you can look behind me, see how much I love their stuff. But uh, I think Show Select is an underrated like kind of label from uh, from Show Factory that more people need to look into. Too many release, re releases. Uh, I do like the fact that they're doing. Although, uh, like, like I stated, I'm gonna. I want to get the Studio Canal, like ham releases. Like, if you're a North American person and you don't have a uh, like a region free player, uh, I I gotta say, grab those those ham releases. I, I do think that they that they are doing good jobs. They are getting Studio Canal prints of those um, of of those films. Uh, Scream has had some issues like behind the scenes as well we, we all know about the you know work with the smaller stores and what's happened there uh, but you know that being said you know if a good Scream release comes out I'm, I'm you know I'm not boycotting I'm, I'm, I'm picking it up but it just hasn't been the one that's excited me the most and like like recently I I may be the only one here that's gonna say this but Severin's August release is Killer Crocodile 1 and 2 and the old dark and the uh and uh and wax mask that 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 that's money to me that's that's one i need that's gonna be that's i've already decided that's gonna be part of my of my halloween this year uh ones of ones that i want to to review <clears throat> what happened to uh oh what happened to screen fact you mean okay so what what i've heard <clears throat> is uh and you know take this you know of, of course i'm not not gonna get it like at uh, I'm, I'm not there, uh, but what I have heard basically is unless you're like Amazon or Walmart or what, one of those other bigger companies, uh, then Scream Factory is kind of stating that, and you know, again, this is secondhand. Um, I think that, that the, the guy from Grindus Tampa mentioned this, was, mentioned this on, on his, you know, in his videos, that uh, he is told that, you know, you put them at this price you don't put them lower than what we tell you that you can put them at. You can put them at a couple dollars lower, but not any lower than that. Because if you do, you may miss out. We may not sell you Scream Factory stuff. So if you're a smaller company and you're trying to 
you know you got some screen factory stuff say you want to like move some stock or you or you want to like hope like to have a big sale and kind of want to get some stuff in you're kind of stuck with screen factory there you, you, that's you know that ain't going to be part of that sale um so that's what i've heard and that you know that's some of the stuff that i've heard recently uh but uh you know again secondhand knowledge but uh anybody else that, that knows anything more can definitely like uh chip you know chip in and say something but uh that's that's so that's what i heard whether that basically if you're a bigger bigger company you're like one of the top three screen factors great with you if you're uh if you're a smaller company not so much they explained it in podcast good i'm i would really like to, i haven't i'm guessing that's that shockwave podcast is that that came out recently right because i haven't listened to that one yet i haven't had the chance to uh i'm hoping like i want to because that that was a bit disheartening for a guy that's been collecting him since the very beginning like i do not have all the screen fact release not even close because he just put too much stuff but when halloween 2 and 3 came out the sale the price of the offer is the bottom price but they can't do it any cheaper i gotta watch is that the i gotta ask you is that the shockwaves one that came out uh a bit a few weeks ago because i'm a bit behind on uh on shockwaves i'd like recently had to catch up with like I actually did an episode of just to this podcast recently please watch it or please listen to it and uh, I and I've just caught up on my just to this stuff uh, except for mine I won't, I won't listen to mine I'll download it, but I won't listen to it um, but yes Logan I'm on just I was in a podcast listen to me <laughs> um, it was fun um, but that being said guys this one has ran 91 minutes and before i'm annoyingly clearing my throat like i was doing in my last video no wonder people didn't stick around for the last video i was hunting <coughs> all the time never fun okay 92 minutes long i am aaron this is the movie library you guys are the movie club you guys rock it you guys are awesome let me know i will be talking this weekend i'll be doing another vi video kind of like a post indicator sale video i want to know what you guys got so come back we've talked about beforehand we'll talk about afterwards we'll talk about what you guys got what you guys are, are going to pick up and what's tempting you guys and we'll see if this sale turns out this once a year sale turns out to be just as good as it's hyped up to be i'm aaron my voice is really going every second i talk right now and it is seriously 110 percent time for tea have a good one guys cheers <laughs>